Hello again, the last but one video in this series about rules panes, which allows you to embed uh, rules components in panels. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to really make use of rules panes. In the previous two videos we saw how to use them in panels, use uh, uh, to add buttons like this or and sometimes uh, uh, forms and then execute a um, a rules component. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with this when you start to think about it a bit. Here is a project. Uh, it has uh, one task and I'm going to create a rules component that allows me to add uh, more tasks, a number of tasks at the same time. Uh, so bear with me, I'm going into configuration workflow rules components add new component. And I'm going to create a rule here. I actually think that... Well, let, let's do that. I think an action set would be enough. But create uh, tasks uh, and add to a project. I'm going to call this. Uh, this will need a node component, which is a node parameter, which is the project. 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 And I'm going to uh, also have a list of texts that will be the titles of the new tasks. Let's call it title tasks. Uh, task titles is probably better. Titles. Like that. Uh, so this is uh, a list of an, an array of text values. Actually, a list, but let's call it an array. Like that. Let's start by verifying that the project is actually a project. So let's have content is of type. This is not strictly necessary, but it's uh, probably good to have. The project should be a project. Save. Then I'm going to loop through the list of titles, creating a loop of titles. Let's call this one current title. Title, like that continue. And now inside this loop I'm gonna do some cool stuff. I'm gonna uh, create a new task and then set some values to it uh, that points it to the uh, to the project we're looking at. So I'm gonna start by creating a new entity. Create a node. Continue. The node should be a task. The title should be, switch to data selection, the current title that we're looping through. The author, let's have the acting user, side column, current user. And we're going to call this something, let's call it task. Task. Save. Uh, add another action here because we need to populate the uh, uh, project reference field. So let's set a data value of the uh, task colon field project. That value should be the project. Save. And finally I think we need to add a save action here. I'm not 100% sure but let's do that anyway. Save entity because we have, we'll, we'll end up with a number of uh, entities called task, and I think rules might have problems doing, uh, saving this itself afterwards. So let's save the task immediately. Save. And there it is. So here we uh, have a project and we have a list of titles. For each entry in the title list, we create a new entity, uh, um, point it to the project, and save it. And that's it. Let's close this one. And here, let's edit this panel for the project. Do, do, do. Let's add content, a rules component, uh, create tasks, and add to a project. The project is node being viewed. I'm going to call this. Uh, add new tasks. Ex uh, execute is not the best word, so let's call it add. And additional help, enter one task title per line or something. Finish. Update and save. And here it should be. 
down here. So we have a list of tasks and we can add new tasks and the one title uh, per line. Let's call this uh, create videos time the presentation uh, do the well that's probably enough add. Now this component is being called new tasks are being created and point to this uh, project. Kind of useful. And we have some default values for priority and size and, and statues here, which we can set using these buttons if we want to. Yeah, and that's it. I think this is one of the best examples of what you can do with uh, uh, rules panes, because uh, this is something that many people want to do, that's kind of uh, usability stuff. Um, instead of going into content, add content, task, five times over. Uh, yeah, you get the point. Uh, in the last video we're gonna have a quick look at how to modify uh, forms like this when we uh, uh, work with uh, rules paints. It's, it's a standard form alter, but I'm gonna show you anyway. See you there!